In today's video, I'm opening an entire case of the new set Cyberstorm Access. What's up guys, we're back with another epic long opening video. This will be 288 packs of the brand new set Cyberstorm Access, which is releasing today. But first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three 25th anniversary rares. We got that nice set of blue eyes, dark magician, red eyes. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know in the comments what you think about this new set and will we pull a starlight rare today? Why haven't you done it yet? What are you talking about, Ruxin? What haven't I done? You haven't clicked my link down below for 15 free dollars on whatnot. Why would you want to do that? Because my whatnot streams have been insane. We've given away a ghost rare Stardust, a ghost rare Black Rose, and this next stream we're giving away a secret rare Dark Magician Girl. And you might still be asking, what is whatnot? Whatnot is a live streaming app where you can buy and sell things live, whether it be trading cards, shoes, or other collectibles. And not only that, they have a marketplace feature where you can sell things while you're not live as well. I've personally sold hundreds of items on the app in the last three streams and my next stream is coming up may 11th at 5 p.m central as i've already mentioned the giveaways have been insane we've given away almost three thousand dollars worth of cards and i'm constantly bringing epic packs and singles for you guys to purchase as well so if you guys don't want to miss the fun make sure to use my link down below because you're going to get 15 dollars for free on your first purchase on whatnot and I hope to see you guys there. Thanks again to WhatNot for sponsoring this video. All right, guys, let's hop right into this opening because this is going to be a longer one, 288 packs, you know? It's going to be insane. We're not going to be doing a pack trick today just because it's going to be a very long video. We're going to go like that, super rare. Okay, I also want to mention, if you guys have not gotten any of this set yet, you want to check out my uh, link down below. I have a link with Sassy Auto. I also have a discount code. I just did a pack trick. I'm just used to it. You guys can potentially get some of this uh, discounted if you guys want it. There's both cases as secret rare already both cases as well as single boxes so go check that out if you guys want to buy that it also supports the channel we're going to be attempting to pull some crazy cards here that's a super rare in the first pack 288 packs so sit back relax grab your popcorn i know you guys like these longer videos at least some of you guys do uh so you guys who do like them grab your popcorn and have fun because this should be a pretty epic opening okay next pack we already pulled insane in our very first opening we pulled pretty decently yesterday in our video so we've done really well with the set i'm hoping we can keep it up and potentially pull a starlight maybe even get one of those very rare two starlight boxes or cases i should say uh which would be pretty awesome so if you guys want to open a case kind of like i'm doing here check out that link down below with sassy auto you can get your own case and open 12 boxes yourself it's always really fun it is a pretty i mean it's pretty expensive even at the great price that sassy auto has but if you guys want to open it up, you can potentially get a lot of great cards and uh, support the channel as well. Let's see if we can pull something amazing. We have, ooh, a nice secret rare. We've got a couple secrets already. That's a good start. Two secrets before any ultras, which is interesting. Cyberstorm Access. This has got to be the hardest I've had to try and remember. There's, there's the Ice Jade. It's in every video so far. I've had to try and remember a set name. I cannot get this one right. I've already mentioned this in both videos, but I keep wanting to call it Cyber Code you know, cybernetic, you know, I, I think I'm kind of getting at this point. Cyber, I mean, Cyberstorm, see it almost said Cybercode again. Cyberstorm is somewhat close to the, one of the first things I think of with the set, but for a long time it was cybernetic and then I switched it to cyber code for some reason. I don't even know if that's like a real set. Have we ever had a cyber code? I don't think we have. So that's my old made up thing. So maybe the next one, Konami, we can do cyber code. All right, next pack, Cyberstorm Access. Will we get that Starlight Rare today? Any Starlight would be pretty awesome. We've already pulled one of them. It was the uh, the card we pulled earlier as a secret. I don't know how to pronounce the card, but the uh, the Virtuous card. We would take another one of those, but I would also love to pull the Firewall. And that'd be pretty awesome. I'd be happy pulling the Visa Starfrost because that's the reprint. And it's always fun to pull those fifth starlights you know and especially when you pull those fifth starlights it seems like you have a better chance to get another starlight that's just a theory of mine it's not actually confirmed but i feel like whenever you get that fifth starlight it seems like you might get something else there's the gold pride that's also a starlight rare in this set not you know that's the ultra rare version but i sometimes i say that i'm like people are gonna think wait that's a starlight rare and get confused and i do not want to do that because that who wants to create confusion not me we have a super rare okay next one up a case opening let me know if you guys like these uh videos of case openings before we do like the live streams and speaking of we're probably going to live stream opening this set in a couple of days probably sunday uh going for probably the visa star frost if we don't get it here if not we'll go for the firewall wish dragon that's my favorite super rare i don't think we're actually gonna pull both i mean if we pulled both that would be a pretty amazing case uh so we'll go for one or the other whichever one it is 
Uh, we have Harvest Angel. Very nice. Yeah, so our stream's coming up. Let me know if you like these uh, one case openings before we get to like the big openings because I've been doing this some recently. I think we did it for uh, Photon Hypernova because uh, my, my locals Frontline Games had one that they wanted me to open. And then we did it on, of course, we did it for Legendary Collection because, you know, we had to, we had to do that. You guys were hyped up about that one. That one's a little different because it's like got all those different sets in it. So it's not really like the same set for a full case or whatever. But, you know, it's similar. So a lot, a lot of packs to go. Like we've barely made a dent at this point. We are just trying to pull some crazy stuff. We've already got a Teller Knight. Pretty cool. There's a lot of really cool cards. Like the best secret in here is a Chaos card, which I think is awesome. Uh, Chaos Angel, I think it's called. We have a... Protect Code Talkers. We got more Code Talkers. Cyberstorm. Can you bless us with something crazy? I mean, we've had some really good pulls recently. I pulled a Starlight Rare in our first opening of this. I pulled a 25th anniversary, second best card in the set out of that OCG opening of Duelist and Nexus the other day. I didn't realize at the time how good of a pull that was. There's the Pinballer Ultra Rare, but we pulled a crazy card there. Like, we've had, and then on yesterday's video, we had some great pulls. I mean, the 25th anniversary pulls out of there were absurd. Speaking of absurd pulls, there's a Chaos Angel, about 50 something bucks last time I checked. But of course, today is the day when all the prices change and we'll have edited this yesterday. So the prices hadn't quite changed yet, unless it comes out a little bit late or something. But uh, yeah, keep that in mind. There's a Prime Heart. Very cool. We're going to attempt to make our money back here on the we're going to see if we can total up our our prices and make back the total cost of what a case goes for at retail. Um, we're giving ourselves an advantage by having the pre-order price or the yeah the pre-order prices before everybody has access to TCG player sales for the new sets. That might give us a slight chance. It's going to be really hard to make our money back with Dragon on a brand new opening. You know, spending whatever it costs for a case, it's pretty expensive, several hundred bucks. But I would love to do it. It'd be pretty cool. So we're going to see if we can in this video. We'll have a totals popping up on the screen every time we get a foil that's worth over a dollar so only count over a dollar keep that in mind i like to remind you guys and speaking of reminding you guys i just remembered i want to remind you guys once again that if you're getting comments replies in the comments about a giveaway it is not me i will never send a message to you about a giveaway i only do giveaways on the youtube community tab it has been ramping back up the amount of messages i'm getting i'm getting at least five messages a day saying that th people thinking they want a giveaway or at least suspicious that someone might be scamming or whatever. And every time they say, I think you should tell your audience. And every time I say, well, actually I don't. Usually I'm like, thanks. But every time I think I do all the time, but guess what? It's clearly not enough because there's five messages a day of people that don't know about it. So I wanted to remind you guys so that if you guys have not heard this message before, keep in mind, if you're getting a message, it's a scammer from YouTube, not from YouTube, but on YouTube. And it's the same kind of people that are doing like telemarketing scams. They're calling old people and stuff like that. It's the same sort of companies. It's not like one person impersonating Ruxin. It is an entire like organization attempting to scam lots of people at the same time. And it works. That's why they keep doing it. So do not let it work for them. Do not get scammed by these people. There's an ultra rare. I'm never going to ask you to pay $200 in shipping to get a giveaway I'm like, you know, makes sense. It makes no sense. You know, like, why would I do that? It's a giveaway. It's going to be free. No shipping costs on you guys in. So keep that in mind. I just wanted to put that back out there. I'm going to try to remember to mention that every video now because just mentioning it once a week is not enough. It's got to be every video because every single day I'm getting messages and it, I try not to be frustrated by it because I understand like not everybody can see it, but it just eventually you get frustrated by seeing every day. You're like, it's not me. It's not me. And I just wish YouTube would do something about that and fix it. But unfortunately, they're not doing it right now. So that's your public service announcement for today. I'm going to try to continue to do that. I have a bunch of videos recorded where I didn't say anything. So coming up, you probably won't hear it as much. But eventually, hopefully, once you get to those next videos, I will attempt to be saying it every video if possible. There's another Ultra Librimancer origin story. But yeah, that's it for that. Let's move on to what we're going to pull here. So far, we've had some good Ultras, some good secrets. Still no Starlight, though. That's what we're really looking for in this case opening. I mean, when you do a case opening, you're looking for those, you know, multiple of the best cards. You're looking for the Starlight rares. I mean, they're... They're what we want. So many packs in a case. It hasn't even been 10 minutes yet, and we've opened a lot of packs. So maybe I'm going at a good pace. We're not going to be here for like three hours. It won't be three hours, but infinite track. I think last time it took us like 48 minutes or something like that. Yes, it's something like that. It's going to be 45-ish minutes probably in this video. And I know a lot of you guys are going to be 
Big fans of that. Some of you guys do not like 45 minute videos. That's why we only do them every once in a while, especially with the newer sets, because, you know, everybody's excited about a new set. You guys are probably going to go pick some up, you know, Walmart or at your locals or you already have, and you're opening it up while watching this video. I'm talking to you guys. We're opening packs right now, and I'm sending you my blessing. You guys are going to pull amazing. So uh, hopefully that works out because the guy at my locals the other day basically blessed me with incredible pulls on Wednesday. And I'm trying to, you know, send that forward, you know, pay it forward. Give you guys some amazing pulls as well. Another super rare. So far, we've gotten one of the best card. We're still looking for that. What's the spell card? I think it's the second best secret rare. We want one of those as well. Oh, we never pull one of these. This is the Ringo Worm, the dragon guarding the hundred apples. He's guarding a hundred apples. That's epic. And do you guys know what kind of apples he's guarding? The Link Apples. All right, next pack. I feel like I got to sneeze, but you know, you know when you feel like you have to sneeze, but then just nothing happens. And that feels kind of feels like what's going to happen right now. I got a little twinge there. Thought maybe it was going to happen. Oh, wait, I can't open this pack. But it didn't happen, so we're just going to keep going. Firewall Phantom, there's a Ultra Rare, very nice. I'd like to pull the new Firewall cards, especially that Starlight Rare. That would be pretty epic. Let's see if we can do it. We have a Peaceful Planet Calarium. I think this is a great one. I can't really remember. I think that was the best Secret Rare from the other day. Um, you know, even though I've already recorded all these today, actually. Same day, I can't remember. Yeah, I'm struggling. This one is an interesting set because it doesn't have any, like, real crazy throwbacks like I normally go for. It has a really great chaos card, which is cool. So I'm excited about that. But a lot of it seems to be there. I do like this guy. He's a very cool super. A lot of it seems to be filling in like, you know, a bunch of different archetypes and stuff that are pretty recent. So I like that. That's pretty cool. Like adding to current archetypes is always really nice. But nothing that I'm like, you know, insanely pumped to pull. I'm not like I got to open 20 cases. You know what I mean? Kind of like we get a lot of the time, you know, Stardust, of course. We've got the Dragoon, we've got the DPE, all that stuff we were super hyped up to pull. What was what was Photon Hypernova? What was the... F oh yeah, Mirror Jade. That was pretty fun as well. At first I was like, I don't know if I care about Mirror Jade. And then I was like, you know what? I really want Mirror Jade. And then we pulled it like right off the bat. Then, I, then we pulled a second one. So that worked out pretty well. I'm hoping that we get a really cool throwback one soon at some point. But uh, with all the 25th anniversary ones coming out, we probably won't have a lot of sets with just Starlights. It'll probably be sets with 25th instead for a while. So it might be a while before we have a big chase at Starlight that I'm going to be going for. It'll probably have to be 25th anniversary cards, which is basically going to be the same thing, to be honest. I mean, we're going to be doing the exact same thing. We're going to be attempting to pull like, you know, blue eyes or whatever it's going to be, which they didn't do a 25th anniversary blue eyes in the tin, it seems like. Or uh, yeah, I think it was the tin. Yeah, yeah. So uh, if they don't blue eyes there, we got to do one somewhere, right? So they're probably going to do it in one of the sets, which maybe Bat Battles of Legend or whatever. That's got like 25 Starlights in it or 20. 25th, sorry, same, D different thing, not the same thing. Okay, next pack. Yeah, I'm excited about the tins. They're honestly gonna be pretty awesome. I think the Battles of Legends is gonna be great as well. There's gonna be, there's gonna be some pretty awesome openings coming up this year. 25th year of Yu-Gi-Oh! is gonna be one of the best yet, potentially the best yet. So hope you guys are enjoying it so far. 25th anniversary Legendary Collection was so fun for me. I'm excited for the booster boxes to come out. We're gonna be doing crazy openings for those, of course, because I mean, obviously the originals being reprinted, I mean, they're not, originals now but they're still going to be extremely fun to open we never pulled a lot of the cards when we did our openings of the legendary collection so we're potentially going to be able to pull those in the boxes when we open them later so very excited for that i'm excited for a lot of stuff coming up guys there's a super rare we're going to be of course uh going to some ycs's going to card party if you guys have heard about that mostly a pokemon event but i know a lot of you guys are pokemon fans as well so hopefully i will see you guys there if you guys are pokemon fans and going to that in california so i'm excited about that as well there's so much cool stuff gold pride rollerball all right, that guy looks awesome. Yeah, he looks like a little spark plug. Okay, pretty sick. So I'm hyped up for this year, guys. It's going to be a great year, I think. Um, I'm hoping at least, you know, Lord willing, it happens. And I'm hoping that you guys have a great year as well. Let's just see what we can pull here. Super rare. Very nice. These uh, also these case openings are kind of fun because it just turns into like a mini podcast. You know, you're just kind of like, I'm just kind of chatting, you know, we're just kind of shuffling through stuff. It's kind of like a live stream where we're just kind of talking about anything, except there's nobody to talk to except me. So I am officially the only one in chat right now talking to myself, which, you know, I've gotten good at it at this point. I mean, we've done a lot of recordings. I mean, what are we at? 1500 videos or something like that. It might be a little short of that, but I also have like a hundred unlisted. So I think we are at like 1500. There's a pinballer. 1500 videos. Who would have thought when I started up that this would happen? That's pretty insane. I mean, 1500 videos is absolutely crazy. 
I can't believe I've done that many. I mean, we have hit every single day of uploading. We've done that since February 26, 2021. That was the last time I did not have any sort of content on my channel for a day. Uh, so it's been a long time. So it's been pretty crazy. And thankfully, I have a couple of awesome editors who have really helped out with that. Otherwise, I don't know if I could have made it this long without them because I, I didn't have editors for the first... I don't know how long it's been now, but probably a year, year and a half of that, at least a year, probably a year and something. And since then, it's been so much easier. It's been so much easier because with without those guys, I mean, I was editing every single night, uh, which I know a lot of you guys who are on the grind of YouTube are doing as well. And you know what? You can do it for a while, but eventually you're like, man, this is uh, this is a lot of work, like after recording, after selling, you know, packaging stuff like it, it just it just became too much. So shout out to my editors for that. Make sure to shout them out in the comments. Yeah, so that's really been awesome and really helped the streak continue. And at this point, I don't know when the streak's going to end. I thought two years was like going to be pretty awesome. I was like, am I going to stop at two years? But it's like, why would I stop? You know, it's what we do. We post videos every day, you know, so it's like maybe we'll just keep going. We'll keep going. We'll keep posting videos. Uh, the only we're going to get into a little bit of a YouTube thing, but the only reason I would think to stop doing everyday videos would be if you do super high quality content, then I'm thinking trading cards. It's like you can do high quality content with them, but is that what I want to do? Or would I rather just post seven videos a week? You know, like we have been doing opening all the new stuff, opening old stuff, kind of like we've always done. And I'm like, I think I just prefer to do that. And if we want to do high quality, we can always throw that in. You know, we can always have that in addition to our seven days a week. We don't have to just do that. Because then there's a ton of pressure to put out those high quality videos. So I think that this is kind of what I like is doing this everyday kind of stuff that we've been doing. And I think that a lot of you guys like it too, because it gives you something that you can, uh, you know, you're like, okay, I know that Rex is going to have a video today. I can at least watch it every single day or whatever. Because I've always liked watching people who upload every day as well. It's, or at least a lot of, uh, very consistently because you feel like, you, you know, there's always that you look forward to that content. I remember a long time ago when, uh, when Simply Unlucky used to upload a lot, he went on like a couple of months streak where he was opening a lot of old school stuff. And I was like, dude, this is just like the best thing ever. And I think it was like, I don't even remember if I was even posting videos at that point, but I was like, this is great. It was like 2018, 2019, something like that. Uh, and then of course, you know, he, what he does is he usually, he usually fades out for a while and at this moment he's not recording or at least posting a ton of videos but back then it was great i was like this is just awesome so i i, I don't want to like you know stop doing it and people like you know they were looking forward to my videos and now it's like ah, oh, i only get to see him once a week or whatever we got oh we got a little spoiler there ultra rare so yeah that pretty random tangent for you guys there but let me know what you think about that in the comments and maybe you could confirm or deny some of my beliefs there and, and what i'm thinking about when it comes to how i'm posting but i think for the most part you guys like these every day i know seven days is a lot so a lot of people do not watch every video which is like that's okay I mean, that's accepted when you do every day if i did three or four days a week i'd probably have more of you watch every video but then at the same time it's like I'm posting less videos, you know, and I just don't really want to do that at the moment. I kind of want to do, I, I got a streak and I'm really into streaks. Like if I've got a streak, it's really hard for me to stop the streak. So it, it's going to be hard for me to uh, let go of the streak at some point, but maybe I will do it. Who knows? We have a protect code. Very nice. Let's see. Cyrus form access. And I don't want to like slow down on videos and then put too much time in something else. I want to always like give you guys as much content as I possibly can, or at least uh, not less than I have before. You know what I mean? Even though it might be better, I just feel like I, I don't want to draw back at this moment. I mean, at some point I might want to, you know, as we're getting, we're getting older. I'm getting old these days, guys, but you never know. When you get old, you might want to do that. But uh, at the moment, this is kind of what I'm, I've been enjoying doing and hope you guys have been enjoying it. Opening these new sets is so fun. And I've been attempting to do a few more videos. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but whenever the new stuff comes out, I like to do, I used to do one video and then a live stream. That was it. Now I've been doing like, this will be our third video on this and then we're going to do a live stream. So we're doing like four days of content on this stuff. And it's like, I feel like people want to see a lot of the new stuff because it's like everyone's excited about it. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, when you post every day, not everyone watches every video. So if they didn't watch the new video yesterday or the first day, if you don't do another one, they might never watch one. I remember people asked me, they were like, hey, why didn't you do a live stream for Magnificent Mavens? Or like, why don't you do more Magnificent Mavens? I, I never saw you open it. And I was like, uh, well, I did a video and I did a live stream. And they were like, oh, I see it now. And it was like months later. I was like, I guess I didn't post enough Mavens content. Like, 
I guess that's what happened. So uh, that made me, I was like, okay, I guess I need to post more new stuff. So people are excited. It's so like, looking back, I probably should have done a few Mavens openings. I don't remember how many I did. I guess it was one in a live stream at that point because they completely missed it. Which I got the message so far later. I was like, what do you mean? I was like, I did. And they were like, oh, I didn't see it. I was like, oh, okay. Which kind of ties back into the same thing that we had about the scammers. People are like, oh well, yeah, you should probably mention this about the scammers. And they just never saw it. They never saw when I mentioned it, which has happened a few times. Another Chaos Angel. That's the second one of the video. Very nice. All right. Cyberstorm access. Pretty good opening so far. No starlights. We are uh, still looking. We've been a little bit of a tangent here. A little bit of a talky talk, which I know some of you guys have sent me emails i talk too much i know cyberstorm access but uh, unfortunately that's just gonna happen on my own youtube video i'm probably gonna chat a little bit too much that's what we do imperial we have a peaceful planet nice another one of those so back to back awesome secret rares right there and speaking of actually not speaking of anything i do have a really cool video coming up that i'm excited about uh, that I can't completely spoil yet, but I'm excited for you guys to see it. And it probably will be next week, I think. I gotta figure out what the schedule is gonna be. But of course, you gotta always prioritize the newest stuff. So the new stuff's coming out before all that stuff next week. Okay, Cyberstorm access. We're making a dent in these. You can at least see the top of the packs right now, which is nice. We got a super right there. I've got a giant stack of supers. I don't know how many it is, but it feels like a lot of super rares. We have a dreaming at Nerm Nemlaria. Nemlaria. And I just think of malaria every time. I don't really love that name. We have a uh, sacred sheep shrub. I love that name. All right, still working through Cyberstorm access. Can we get it? And by it, I mean a starlight. So any of the five starlights, preferably one we have not pulled, but I would take the one we already pulled again. I wouldn't be mad at all. I would not be mad. We have manadium. Is that how you say that? Manadium? Manadium? Manadium. Sounds like maybe that could be it. I don't know. Is rain, is mana falling from heaven? I'm not really sure what's going on with that archetype. Cyberstorm access. Can you give us some cyber, some storm, and some access? There we go. Gold bride. Better luck next time. You might win the next one, buddy. Better luck next time. Aha. Start your engine engines but uh oh better luck next time back to back we will be getting two of those if you're asking for better luck maybe try next time that was hilarious we got back to back we got another protector of the apples probably my favorite ultra rare in this set i mean that's just awesome protecting the link apple i mean i don't know if it's actually the link apple there's a lulu walalith i'm not even sure if i'm saying it right but i feel like it should be wulu wu <laughs> Wooloo, Lulu Wallalith. Wooloo is a Pokemon. That is a different thing. Okay, super rare. Cool. Lots of cool stuff. Where's the Starlight rare? Not guaranteed per case, by the way. I want to remind you guys about that. So we might not get a Starlight here. I mean, if we do, I'm going to be super happy, but it's not guaranteed to get one. We want to try. Ooh, first time pulling this. Firewall Dragon Singularity. This looks a lot like the original artwork for Firewall Dragon. It's a little bit different. I like that secret rare, though. That looks really, really good. Okay, we're getting down. I mean, what are we? Maybe halfway through at this point. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell, like, guesstimate with so many packs left but that firewall dragon singularity looks good i bet the starlight looks awesome so maybe that's the one i want to search for now seeing that secret rare version of it might make me a lot more interested in that card we have Cynet. we have time tearing time tearing cyberstorm access will you let us access a starlight rare i don't know if you will but i'm going to attempt to force you to allow us to access a starlight rare that took me a long time to say that okay Next up, Firewall Dragon again. We got Super Heavy Samurai, another awesome card. Cyberstorm access has been good to us so far. Will they continue to be awesome? Will they be great for us? The only Starlight I've pulled was in the giveaway the other day, so go check that out. And yes, I will be giving it away. I do do give I do do giveaways. <laughs> do do Singularity, nice card. Uh, I do the giveaways. Sometimes I get a question like, does anybody ever win the giveaways? And then I'm like, yes. Yes, they do. I've shipped out thousands of packages at this point. Thousands. It's been a lot of packages. International, US, tons and tons of giveaways have been shipped out. So do not doubt the giveaways. Sometimes I take a while, like it takes me a few weeks, maybe a month, even two months sometimes to, uh, you know, actually ship them out, which is, you know, I want, I want to make that faster, but it does take a long time to do these giveaways if you get behind. I've been pretty good recently. I am, as I'm saying that, I'm behind right now, but it's only about three, I think three or four weeks behind, and I'm planning on doing it next week, but a lot of times stuff happens. You know, the new uh, the new sets come out, Peaceful Planet, very nice, and that takes up all your time. You got other stuff going on. So 
I'm doing my best to get those out, but yes, they will be out. And I have done, ooh, very nice. We have also given away a lot of money thanks to Guess That Price, wow. And uh, ironically, a very loyal viewer on Twitch and on YouTube won the thousand dollar prize and actually claimed it, which was great because I was going to be like, kind of feel bad if nobody claimed it because a lot of times people just don't claim their, their prizes, which happens. Uh, so make sure to go check out the YouTube community tab to make sure that you haven't won something or that you have because you want to see if you want it. And uh, you can claim it via emailing me at rodneyruxup34 at gmail.com. Give us a starlight. Come on. We've got Pearly Common. I like how Pearly, the Pearly Lee is a common. I like a lot of these names are just fun to say, which is a, it's a big plus for an opening channel. Like if it's a fun name to say, that makes the card an automatic favorite. You know, like Pearly Lee and the uh, Lululith Woo 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 or whatever it was called. <laughs> the Woo Woo Lululu. It reminds me of Lord of the Beans. When they're trying to trying to pronounce things. Lord of the Beans, greatest mo movie of all time. Let me know in the comments if you are here this late into the video and you've also you've seen Lord of the Beans. Because if you have, huge plus to you right now. What else we got? We've got Infinitrax. So Infinitrax are in here. I kind of knew that, but I didn't really actually put that together until just now. All right, more accessing. We're getting we're getting down there. We're getting down there in terms of cards. There's a lot of cards to pull, and we have pulled many of them, but there are still many more to pull as well. Super rare. Do you guys remember the last time? Didn't we do this case opening? We pulled no, it was Zeus. We did a live stream with opening for the Starlight Zeus, and we pulled it on the fourth to last pack. That was one of the craziest openings. But I mean, then uh, two, you know, two days ago we pulled the Starlight last pack, but Opening an entire case and it happening to be the fourth to last pack is wild. I mean, that was pretty amazing because I was sure we weren't getting it at that point. I was like, four packs left. We're not getting it. We're not even getting a Starlight, much less the Starlight Zeus, you know, because it's one in five chance to begin with to actually pull the Zeus. Actually, it might have been four back on Phantom Rage. It might have been one four. I can't remember. But even then, it's like, you know, even if I do get a Starlight in those last four, it's probably not going to be the right one. And then we got it. It was insane. I, I We've had some great pulls this year. I think this year's top 25 or whatever pull number we do at the end of the year is going to be an amazing video. Like we have already pulled so many good cards in so many like weird situations. It's going to be an awesome video. All right, access. Wow, we are we are getting there. We are there's a teller night. Very cool. We're getting there. We'll get there when we get there. If you guys are enjoying this video, you'll definitely enjoy the live stream on Sunday. So make sure you guys come hang out for that. It's going to be pretty epic Sunday. Opening packs. I'll have been driving for like six hours that day, so I'm gonna be tired, but I'm gonna open some more packs of this set. It's gonna be pretty good. I don't know if we're gonna go super crazy on this set on the live stream. We'll have to find out what, what I decide to go for, but I'm hoping we get lucky and just pull the firewall. That'd be pretty epic. We have Perlity, we have a Synet rollback. Very cool. Let's go. Let's get something crazy. We have Adelaria, Adularia. What else can we get towards the end of this case opening? It is a Manadium Meek, Manadium, Monadium. I can't decide how you say that. You guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments and uh, I'm sure I've butchered it. I mean, I've said it four different ways, so it's impossible for me not to have butchered it, but maybe I've gotten it right, you know? <laughs> maybe one of the four ways was right, you know what I mean? We have a Synet rollback. Kind of like, that just reminds me of Tune rollback. Tune rollback, playing some tunes, guys. That reminds me of uh, Duel Links, Tool. Uh, first. I can't speak. I'm trying to say first mention of Duel Links um, in a long time, actually, but also first mention today. So that's a big plus. We're 30 plus minutes in, probably by the time of editing, a little bit short of that, but still pretty good, Ruxin. We are getting low on packs now. I mean, not really low. There's still hundreds of packs, <laughs> not hundreds, but there's still probably a hundred packs plus left. So we're not actually that low in terms of packs, but we are lower, you know, <laughs> lower than we started with. So I, I'm never wrong about that. Look, we're about to be one lower than we were before. So I'd be correct. Perlily, we have a B Trooper. Perlily, that one's a little bent up right there. Okay, interesting. Cybernetic, Cyber Code, whatever it's called, super rare. Still many packs to go, still many chances to get a Starlight. We have not pulled one yet. I'm hoping that eventually our luck will turn around. Like we did last time we did a case opening of a main set, it was the Starlight Mirror Jade, which was pretty pretty amazing. We have numbers, Evel, 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 I guess you would say. It's spelled E and Veil. We have a Voltus, another, or Votus. No, there's no L in there. We need more of the uh, the baby dragon or whatever he's called. It's like, uh, oh, another Votus. Okay, back to back of those. What else is left in our Cyberstorm case? Well, what happened there? It's a super rare. That was uh, a Ruxin special going from side to side somehow, which is pretty impressive. This makes it easier not to Ruxin special, but also you can... Uh, see the cards on the way in a little bit better. So I like to do the, the other way a little bit more so you can, like if it's a starlight, you don't see it right away. 
But at the same time, doing that for 288 packs, I would die. I'm not going to do it. I'm just not going to do it. It's too much. This is uh, when you open a high amount, I got to do this. Perlily, Bestial Aluber. So two great cards mixed together. Bestial Archetype and then Aluber, the Jester of Despia, just mixed into a Bestial Archetype, which is crazy. Which I think they're like related in the lore and somewhat connected in terms of the cards. But it's still always interesting to see that. We have a... Monodium Meek. More accessing going on. These A lot of these packs are like uh, kind of pushed up a little bit. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know if they had some dent, like dented boxes or something. Could have happened. Not really sure. Okay, Firewall Phantom. We have Cyanet Rollback. Super rare. Very nice. Cyberstorm access. Can you give us that starlight we've been so desperately searching for? I don't know if we're desperate, but we have been pretty desperately searching. So I feel like the, the word works here, I think. I think it works for trying to get a starlight. I feel like when you're searching for a starlight, you're always somewhat desperate because it's like you're opening this many packs for a card. That's what that's what the people who made the stuff are like, really? OK, I guess we're going to like make them even harder to pull. <laughs> like they're they're opening a lot of packs right now. I guess we should uh, I guess we should increase the pull rate or decrease the pull rates. I don't think they actually do that, but I mean, they did kind of do that when they made Starlight Rare, which is, I think, really cool. But at the same time, you know, you got to open a lot of packs to get one or just buy it, which is always the right solution anyway. But guess what, guys? We are a channel for opening. So that's why we open stuff. We open it. We make content out of it. I always love when people come into the live streams opening a lot of packs. I'm like, why would you open all these packs? Why would you open all these packs? Why wouldn't you just buy the card? And I'm like, well, uh, wouldn't be a very interesting live stream then, would it? Uh, yeah. Hey, guys, I just bought a Starlight Rare. Bye, guys. That would actually be a hilarious meme. Like, that's next year's April Fool's video. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna have a live stream. <laughs> I'm gonna set up, like, opening 1 million Yu-Gi-Oh packs. And then everybody gets in like, oh, yeah, this is gonna be insane. And I'll be like... Actually, guys, I bought the card. I'm good. <laughs> I bought the card. I heard that the comments said you should just buy the card. Like, why would you open? So I was like, you know what? That makes sense. That would be an epic April Fool's video. And it would it would fit perfectly with our channel. So be prepared to be uh, the April Fool's next year. Even though, I mean, it's going to be hard to top the Pecanio Moth uh, 10 minute testing. The other, you know, not the other day. About month and something ago but yeah we're gonna try we're gonna try to top that cyberstorm yeah i gotta give us something good because right now we are i mean we got good cards two, only two chaos angel though so that's really not that awesome uh we're hoping to get one more of those at least okay cyberstorm let's go let's do this one two three why am i counting i'm, I'm thinking i'm doing a, a pack trick which i'm not we haven't done a pack trick in like a hundred and something packs and I'm still trying to do it. I know a lot of you guys, the pack trick haters out there are going to love this video because guess what? No pack trick. I know you guys love that. Here we go. I'm not going to lie though. I'm a huge pack trick fan. I mean, no matter what people say in the comments, like, man, I remember back in the day, Ruxin used to be so much better. He wouldn't do the pack trick. So the cards were in a different spot in the, in the pack that like changed everything. Yeah, I, I'm not going to lie. I just don't agree, guys. I don't agree. I also don't think it matters that much. I think you can do whatever you want, but I just think it's so much more fun for like the packs, which we're not doing it today, obviously. So it's really not a huge deal, but it just love when the last cards start. Like that video two days ago, if I hadn't done the pack trick, not nearly as cool. We went through all the packs and then we went through every card in the last pack except the last one and we had no idea we were gonna starlight no idea the last card in the entire box or two boxes pulled a starlight i mean that just made it that just makes it so cool all right we're down to probably stacks of 10 here which means we have what i mean uh, we still have 100 packs though we had 100 earlier i don't know maybe 90 packs i don't know maybe it's a little less i can't tell it's been 37 minutes so i suspect we're a decent amount through because i've been opening pretty quickly you never really know i'm terrible at guessing how many packs are left i'm always wrong there's an s force i feel like we have not pulled a lot of secret rares recently and we pulled a lot of like just ultras and supers and nothing you know I mean, I guess supers are the nothing, but that's what it feels like. Let's see if we can turn that around right now. We have Perlily, we have Super Rare, Monadium, Fearless. We have Sinet Circuit, we have V Trooper, we have Cash Tira. Cash Tira, what will we pull? Will it be Cash Tira? It is a Wish Dragon. We have not pulled a Wish Dragon in forever. That was the card, that was the name. I called it Baby Dragon earlier, which obviously there's already a Baby Dragon. So what in the world am I talking about there? Okay, Wish Dragon, Infinitrack. Nice ultra rare right there. I have a, uh, oh no, now I'm forgetting the archetype name. What's the one that you play with Infinitrax? You play uh, mechs or what are they called? The big mech guys? I have a deck of that and it has a few Infinitrax in it, but it's not great. I mean, it has DPE in it still. That's how long ago I actually played that, but whatever that mech was called. Ooh, Vicious Astrolout. I've never seen this card. How have we not pulled this yet? I've opened so many boxes. That's, I mean, 15 boxes after this stream. 
or after, not, not a stream, it's a lot, it's a video. That had been 15 boxes when we're done. I, it's the first time I've pulled that secret rare. That's pretty weird. Um, probably good that it's that one and not, you know, the Chaos Angel, which is pretty crazy and it's the best card. If we had just now pulled one, it'd be pretty bad. Firewall Defensor. Wait a second, we gotta look at this. Defensor? What kind of a name is that? That is wild. I saw the other day, there's like either a hot, is it a hockey team? It's named the Defenders? Or maybe, uh, was it hockey? I can't remember. Maybe it was soccer. I can't remember what it was. But I was like, your name is the Defenders? No, it wasn't soccer. The reason I thought it was soccer was because it sounds like a six-year-old soccer team. You know, they usually go with, all right, guys, what should we what should we name our team? Uh, how about we go with the Attackers? Yeah, that'll be awesome, man. Let's be the, t the Attackers. And then it's like, yeah, we're the Attackers. We're going to attack the other team. That's what that sounds like. And I was like, a professional team is named... I mean, it's literally the opposite of Attack. It's Defenders. You're naming yourself the Defenders as a professional sport? I'm like, this is wild. I, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that if you've made it this deep into the video, which I suspect nobody is watching at this point. If you are, make sure to pat yourself on the back in the comments and let me know because you guys are nuts. You guys have been watching this whole time, probably because you believe in the Starlight Rare. I'm hoping you guys are right. Okay, that's a damage card. First one we've seen really bad so far. Albion the Sanctifier Dragon. I haven't seen this one either. How have we pulled none of the secret rares? The Albion Sanctifier Dragon. That's a pretty cool name, I'm not gonna lie. Is that a Starlight? I feel like that is a Starlight. I feel like I remember um, uh, Branded having more Starlight rares because they already have crazy high rarity cards. That would be a sick Starlight. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. There's some good Starlights in this set that I kind of want now. Okay, are we there? Is it enough to pull a Starlight Gold Pride Roller? I said, guys, didn't I say? I was like, we haven't pulled a, a Secret Rare in a while. Now we've hit like three in a row. That's pretty good. Not quite in a row, but basically. Wanna be, I don't wanna be anything other than a Starlight in this booster pack. Give it to me, I wanna pull it, please. All right, getting close to the end. I'm getting a little nervous that we might not get a Starlight because we, I mean, it's not guaranteed. There's another Astro Lab, which we hadn't seen yet. Now we have two of them. Where's the Chaos Angel number three as well? We want a Starlight and a Chaos Angel number three. That's what I'm asking for here. And I will be very happy if we get both of those. If we just get a Starlight, it would still be pretty great. A third Chaos Angel, it will, it'll be decent. I'll be like, ah, oh, I wish we got a Starlight, but at least we got the third Chaos Angel. If we don't get any of those, a little bit of a bust in terms of a, of a case so far, I would say, uh, if if that's what it ended on. Let's see, we got a time though. I mean, there's a lot of packs left to be opened and all it takes is one or two packs. As you guys saw a couple days ago, we got our last secret and a Starlight in the last two packs. So you can just line up that way sometimes. Cyberstorm, here we go. I know I've said your name many times, the newest Yu-Gi-Oh set, Cyberstorm Access. You are brand new you are awesome and you will bless us with an amazing starlight guys this is all you have to do just tell the pack to give you what you want cyberstorm access i command you to give me a starlight here we go i command you we have a teller knight super rare very cool cyberstorm access let's access here we go we have a pearly we have a wish dragon <sighs> getting close we're getting closer now i think we have four or five packs per stack and a lot of them some of them have more chaos angel number three that's awesome that's a very good pull so i'm happy about that one now we just need that starlight to be a great case i mean you know, three of the best card and then a starlight rare and we're happy Gold Bright. We also got three of the second best card too. So that's also really good. I don't remember what, there was a good ultra in here. It was like 16 bucks. I don't know if we pulled it. I think it was a Bestial card. I feel like it was like a Bestial, was it a Synchro or Xyz? I can't remember. I think it was one of those. I think it was an extra deck. It might've been a Synchro. Oh yeah, it was a Synchro. There's another Vicious Astrolab that we had not pulled yet. We pulled three in the last like five minutes. This is absurd. This is just how it goes opening a case sometimes. I'll be on the Sanctifier Dragon. Another one we had not pulled and now we're pulling them again. Cool, we'll take that. That's not bad. Pearl Elite. We have just the way we're opening these apparently is just turning out this way. Still a few packs left, a few chances. There's a Monodium and I am hot. Cyberstorm, please access your best pulls and bless us with two Starlights. <laughs> no, one Starlight, I want one. I want one. How about one? Let's not get carried away here. Are you guys here for the end? Did you skip to the end? If you did, admit it in the comments. Admit right now if you skipped to the end. Admit it, guys. If you didn't skip to the end, admit that you also didn't skip to the end and that you are awesome. Let me know. I want you guys to let me know that you are awesome. That will be a good sign to tell if you watch the video or not. <laughs> here we go. What are we going to get? We have Teller Knight, another great card, or at least an ultra rare. I don't know if it's actually a great card. I say that without actually knowing. We have a Kitsune. We have a Despian Lulu Walalith, my favorite card to say in this set, which there's some good ones in here, but the Lulu Walalith is definitely awesome. That's a Despian card. 
We have a Grand Sulfa Cord, super rare. Getting down toward the end, we're probably down to like one box now. One box worth. All it takes is last pack. Ma if we pull a last pack magic starlight out of here, then something is going on. You gotta believe in the starlight rare. Here we go. Didn't believe that time hard enough, apparently. Yeah, it's getting real close, guys. We're on the last pack on that left side. We have a super there. An entire case has been opened in this video. Not yet, but it's about to be. I mean, that's pretty epic. It's pretty fun. Teller Knight. We've talked about many things in this video because guess what? It's basically just a podcast while opening packs. And you know what? That's that's clutch. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with being a podcast while opening packs. It's a visual podcast. Okay, here we go. We have Tri Brigade, also pretty cool. These middle ones have a few more packs in them, so we're gonna go ham on those a little bit, see if we can pull anything. Another super. Let's give let's give us something, you know, because I'm crazy at the end. Why not? Let's do it. Come on, let's pull something crazy. You know what I mean by that. There's a certain rarity that I'm talking about that's crazy. I may or may not have commanded you to give it to me. So I take it back if that offended you, by the way, Cyberstorm access we are on the home stretch of the last few packs will there be something crazy in here to go crazy about we have a super rare because so far i mean nothing to go crazy about we've been stuff to be happy about but nothing to go crazy about and you know what i'm looking for when it talks about going crazy and i would love to do it right now i would love to go crazy here at 702 p.m how about that perfect time to go crazy right we have a kitsune we have adularia super rare very cool very awesome, very epic. We have a Cyanide rollback. It could still be here, guys. You just gotta believe in the heart of the cards. Where is the heart of the cards? We have how did die get here? We got reincarnation. Very nice, super rare. Oh man, die you got here. But where's the where's the starlight? I want to say where the how did the starlight get here? That's what I want to say. Super rare right there. Cyberstorm access. Still some packs left. We're, we're definitely under a box now. Like we're definitely under a box. We got. Super rares right there. All it takes is one box. All it takes is one pack. One singular pack. It could be in here. This is another super. Oh my goodness. What's going to happen? Will it happen? I don't know. How did I get here? Another super rare. Oh, getting nervous. Getting real nervous for the last couple of packs. I think we have one pack left on, on most of the rows here. Another super rare. This is down to one pack. There's one more that has two packs. So I think we have like a 10 pack. We did it! We got a starlight in the last 10 packs or something! Oh my gosh! What in the world? How does this keep happening with this set? Gold Pride, come on. Give us something crazy. Give us the big one. We'll take Firewall. That'd be epic. We have Gold Pride and the Firewall Dragon Singularity Starlight Rare. Let's go with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packs left. We opened 278 packs without a starlight. So if you waited this long, your patience has paid off. All right, we might as well open the last 10 and see what happens, because guess what? Could be a double starlight case. I'm just saying, it could happen. Uh, I, I still don't believe at this point. That is insane. I'm not going to lie, guys. I didn't think it was going to happen again. You'd think I would learn by now to, to believe at the end because it can happen, but it's just harder. It's just hard sometimes. When it gets down to the end, you've opened so many packs. You're like, there's absolutely no way it's going to happen this time, right? And then it does. It does. Starlight rare, firewall right. We've already pulled two of the starlights. We haven't even done a live stream. This is insane. We've pulled two starlights opening less than two cases. That's actual crazy luck right there. It's like a ratio is more than two cases for one starlight. We've pulled two in less than two cases. So that's pretty crazy. We're no, uh, we're no revs over here pulling two and two boxes, but hey, we got two different ones at least. That's pretty cool. We'll take it. Oh my goodness. Gold pride. That's, that's the other one that could be a starlight. Four packs to go. I'm not going to stop believing now because guess what? It could be a double starlight. We've we continue to disprove my own uh, disbelief here. I, and guess what? You guys remember what I said? I said, just tell the pack what you want and you'll get it. And guess what I said I wanted? The Firewall Dragon. And guess what we got? Firewall Dragon. That is absurd. Two packs to go. B Trooper again. You know what? Let's just get a little Chaos Angel in the last pack just to top it off. Or how about that second Starlight? I'll take either one of those. Pack trick for this last one. We have the uh, Brightest, Dream Tower, Fusion Duplication, Cybers, Sagatama, Fallen. Menadium. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel because this is a long video and we're almost to 200,000, which is going to be an insane video. If you like long videos, you're going to love that one. Here we go. 
to Rare V Samurai. That's okay because we ended it with an insane pull. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Mycycle, America Deutscher, Supreme Stage 21, and then a tie show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.